this Nokia Lumia 925 is running Windows Phone 8, the GD2R release. That's the second update for the Windows Phone 8 platform. There's several things in here, and Nokia have added some software on the top, but one that gets quite a bit of commentary is about CardDuff and CalDuff support. Now, this is actually rather difficult to demonstrate on the phone because it's really just a setting, but uh, we can explain the reason why it's important. Google earlier this year announced the end-of-life date for Exchange ActiveSync support with its PIN products, that's Gmail, Google Calendar, and Google Contacts, presenting something of a problem if you're using those with your Windows Phone device. They said that they'll be switching to the CardDuff and the CalDuff protocol, which is something Windows Windows Phone didn't previously support. Microsoft did then say that they would be supporting it and that it will be coming in a future software update. That's now arrived with the Windows Phone GDR2 release and I can just demonstrate uh, that is present by going into the settings application. You can see if we go into email plus accounts here, I've already got a Google account set up. Just go into that there. You can see if I scroll down we've got IMAP so that's a change from Exchange Accessing for email and then at the bottom here we've got CardDev for contacts and CalDev for calendar both going to the Google server. Now this CardDev and CalDev support really is only for Google. Uh, it's not available for setting it up for other accounts. However if you want to do that there are some third-party apps available in the Windows Phone Store that allow you to do that. But there you go it's not a very interesting video demo here. Um, I you just have to take my word for it that email and the calendar is continuing to successfully sync up onto the Google services. But it's great news for people who are using Google services with their Windows Phone. There'll be no service interruption. This uh, update will be coming to all the Windows Phone 8 devices over the next few months, and it will mean you can keep on using your Google account, should you so wish, with your Windows Phone device.